Hey, this is Terra Toots with an overview of the TerraGen 4 user interface. This video will give you a quick overview of the various panels that show up when you first open TerraGen. First up, we have the 3D preview here. This is your window to the world you're creating and shows a rough preview of your scene. In the next video, we'll talk more about using the 3D preview to navigate your scene and position the render camera. Near the top of the window, you'll notice several tabs. These categorize various elements that make up your scene including terrain, objects, shaders or colors, water, atmosphere, lighting, cameras, and renderers. You'll notice that clicking on any of these tabs will change the 3D preview to make it more relevant to the selected section. For example, selecting the atmosphere tab will cause the 3D preview to show a preview of the sky as well as the terrain. You'll also notice that when you change between tabs, the panels on the left will change as well. For example, if we change from the Atmosphere tab to the Shaders tab, these panels also change. This box at the top left shows the shaders that we have currently applied to our world. An easy way to start thinking about shaders is as colors for your terrain. Right now we only have one shader, the default terrain colors. Let's go ahead and add another color layer. We do that by clicking Add Layer and selecting Surface Layer. We'll see the new Surface Layer shader show up in our list of shaders. We'll also see the 3D Preview update with the new color. If we select our new shader, the panel in the bottom left corner will show the options and properties of the selected shader. Here we can change the name of our color layer, as well as select the color and detail how we want to apply the shader to our terrain. For example, Let's change this layer to green and set it to only cover part of the terrain. You'll notice that the 3D preview again updates to reflect our changes. You'll also notice that the small window here updates as well. This window shows a top-down view of the effect of this shader on the terrain, kind of like an overhead map. There are dozens more options for this shader under the different tabs in this panel, and we'll cover more of them in future videos. You'll find similar options panels for the various categories in the top bar. The final panel that shows up by default is the node network in the bottom right corner. If you're just getting started with Terrigen, I would recommend just closing this panel for now. It deals with more advanced interactions between the different scene elements. So that's a basic overview of the Terrigen 4 user interface. In the next video, we'll talk about how to use the 3D preview to navigate within your new world.